Hi, welcome back to Nessa's Nook. Today I may have done something. Mm, yeah, I did something. Um, we actually went out to go buy 10 pounds of blueberries from our local store the next town over. Well, they were out. So there's a little uh, place about five miles from there. So I called them up and I said, hey, do you have any blueberries? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we went there and we picked up the 10 pounds of blueberries. Okay, that's fine. On the way back, we stopped at the other little roadside place we saw. And we may have picked up another 10 pounds of blueberries. So I will show you here what we have. In my sink is washed 10 pounds of blueberries. And what I'm doing right now, in this pot, I actually have the clear gel water and sugar. Now I am doing a double batch because this will actually be 12 pints or 12 quarts of blueberries. So as you can see it's got the little I call it the snots. I don't know. I don't know what it really is. But it takes a long time to actually come to get thicker. So this has been going now for a good five minutes and it got all these snots that it has. What's going to happen is it's going to become all snot. That's when I'm going to be adding the lemon juice and the blueberries and I'll bring you back once this gets all the way thick because I'm sure you don't want to see me sitting here stirring this forever. Okay we're back. Now it's time to add, oops, I have to put a little bit more in there because I just spilled it all over my stove. That will be a cup of lemon juice. And what you're going to do is bring that up to a boil, and I can sure make a mess when I want to. Um, just put a little bit extra in there. Bring that up to a boil for another minute before you start adding the blueberries. Now, as I was saying, with a snap fest, this is what I'm talking about. I, I, every time I make pie filling, I always feel like I'm part of a Hollywood movie because... It just reminds me of something that you would see like definitely in a Hollywood script somewhere. But I will bring you back as soon as this has been a minute and I will show adding the blueberries. Okay, this has come back up. So what's going to happen is I'll start putting the blueberries in here. And I will mix, add, mix, add, mix, add till they're all mixed in. And I'll bring you back once they're all together. Okay, here is the finished product. And what I'll do is start to get that canned up. Okay, I got that finally all mixed. And what you want to do, usually that's like an inch headspace for most things that you can. However, because clear gel actually expands, you're not going to want to do the one inch. So what I'm going to do is get this filled up and I'll show you on the first can, the jar, and then I'll bring you back. See how, this, see how, see if, see how far down that is. Then you're going to want to make sure you de bubble. This looks really good. <laughs> Too bad I couldn't taste it. All right. And then you're going to want to wipe down the rims. And like I said, I don't preheat the, the rims anymore. And then what you just do is you go ahead and put this on fingertip tight. And that's ready for the canner. Now, like I said, I use a steam canner because it's very, very hard. I had to have my husband even lift this over here for me. Um, lifting really heavy things, is, it's, it pulls on my throat and it doesn't make it very easy. So um, that will fit seven quarts in there. So I'll come back and then I actually have about 18 half pint or 18 pints ready to be done. I may need more jars of both, I'm not for sure. We'll see how this takes us, and I'll be back. 